Hello. Welcome to the Flash Game Archive, version 3 introduction. In this video we'll explore version 3, and introduce you to the new interface. If you are familiar with Flash Game Archive version 2, you can see that the interface has changed drastically. Everything is accessible from one screen now. But it's not the only thing that's changed. There are many cool new features in this version. Let's have a quick look at some of the new features. FGA3 offers better sorting. By choosing a category, and then a letter, to really narrow down the game's list results. An updated feature includes a better search engine, allowing multi-word searches, to make it easier to drill down to the results you are looking for. You can also download as many of the Flash games as you like, which was a highly requested feature. The favorites list is now its own database which means FGA3 will retain your favorites when updating. FGA3 auto updates its game list when it starts. And offers dynamic resolution, so you can resize the app to suit your screen. An internet connection is required to use FGA3, but with the new download system you can play offline. And finally, everything in the app is now located on the one main screen making it much easier to navigate. Enough boring text, let's have a look at the new interface. The first section is the category drop-down, right here. It lets you choose from multiple game genres, and changes how the other buttons beside it act. The section right below is the results area and will show you a list of games based on the category drop-down. You can then use the sort options bar, across the top of the screen, to fine-tune what's shown in the results area. The next area is the game info section, where you can see a screenshot of the chosen game. In this area you will also find some buttons that let you favorite, download, or view a leaderboard for the selected game, if it supports high scores. You will also find the play button in this area which is what you would use to start playing the selected game. There is also a small area at the bottom of the screen, this is called the tag section and will show any tags associated with this game. If you would like to see a full list of tags you can use the show tags button, found in that same section. That's all you need to know to use Flash Game Archive version 3. Pick a category, Click on a game in the results section and then click the play button. In the next video we will explain some of the advanced features of the sort option bar. Including, loading a flash game from your local computer, what's available in the settings area, and we will have a look at the other buttons found in the game info area. Bye, see you in the next video.